Hi guys, my name is Victoria and today I'll show you 11 simple ways to speed up your WordPress website. Let's get started. No one likes a slow loading website. The longer it takes to load, the bigger the possibility of visitors leaving your site and never returning. That will affect your bounce rates, conversions and overall user experience. Also, page speed is a ranking factor for search engines like Google. If your website is slow, it becomes more challenging to rank well. Luckily, you can easily boost your site's performance and avoid these issues. Today, I will show you 11 easy steps to speed up your WordPress. Generally, there are three types of hosting, shared, cloud, and VPS. With shared hosting, the server resources are shared among many different websites. This means that if one of those websites has a surge in traffic, your website can only use the remainder of available bandwidth, significantly slowing it down. Meanwhile, with VPS and cloud hosting, users get dedicated resources, which helps their site to load faster. At Hostinger, we use Lightspeed web servers, which can handle higher traffic and more simultaneous connections compared to Apache. Not only does it improve your server performance, but also your site speed. Lightspeed also comes with a WordPress caching plugin to further optimize the site speed. To learn how to set up this plugin and use it to speed up your site, check out our Lightspeed cache tutorial. Web requests and data travel from server to server until they reach the user's browser. If a server is far away, it will take much longer to load your site, creating a bad user experience. Also, if your website has a lot of heavy content like animations and videos, it will take even longer. That's why it's important to determine where your target audience is and choose a server location that is closest to them. For already established websites, you can check your audience location using tools like Google Analytics. In WordPress, you can use a Google Analytics plugins like Monster Insights. Once you get the result, switch to a different server location if necessary. Here's how to change your server location if you use Hostinger. Log in to each panel, then click on Server section in the sidebar. Click the Edit button. Select the new server location from the drop-down menu and press Next. Note that you can only transfer your server one time per month. Then click Start. Then sit down and relax as migration process can take up to 12 hours. However, don't make any other changes to your site during this period because they won't be saved. A Content Delivery Network, or CDN, is a group of servers spread out across many locations worldwide that work together to speed up the process of delivering websites to the user's browsers. A CDN works by saving a site's static content in the cache, then replicating and storing it on a CDN server elsewhere as needed. When a user visits the website, the closest server will load the content, improving the load time. Some hosts require the users to purchase a CDN separately, but others include servers in their hosting plans. At Hostinger, we use Cloudflare, which you can activate in a few simple steps. Log in to each panel, then Domains, and then Cloudflare. In the Cloudflare control section, switch the service status to On. Select the preferred option for SSL encrypt communication. Then select a preferred option for the security level, and then click Save. Once Cloudflare is enabled, install and activate the Cloudflare WordPress plugin. That way, you will be able to configure its settings right from your WordPress dashboard. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is a communication protocol that allows browsers and servers to exchange information. Its latest version, HTTP2, offers some advantages over its predecessors. First, it allows web developers to decide which content should load first. Lighter content such as text can be loaded first, giving the impression of the faster loading website. Second, since this protocol was designed for communication between machines, it communicates more efficiently. That's because it uses a binary protocol which is much simpler to process. Third is its ability for multiplexing. This means this protocol lets browsers to load different types of content in a single connection. 
And finally, this protocol also lets servers send content before the browser requests it and uses a compression format that makes HTTP messages smaller, shortening the load time. Web hosts that use Lightspeed and Nginx support it natively. But if you use Apache, contact your web host to confirm whether HTTP2 is available. To check whether your site uses this protocol, use online tools like HTTP2.pro. If you find out that your site still uses an older communication protocol, check whether your web host supports HTTP2, then contact them to migrate your site. Keep in mind that to use this protocol, you may need to install SSL certificate first, as nearly all browsers only support HTTP2 via encrypted connection. The team you use in your WordPress site also influences its speed. A well-optimized team helps ensure that your site will only run necessary processes and will be properly displayed on all devices. Here's what you should look for in WordPress team. Well-optimized code. This means the code should align with the World Wide Web Consortium and WordPress standards. Lightweight. Ideally, it should have up to 100 kilobytes. Compatibility with different browsers. Users should have a great experience on the site, regardless of the browser they use. Mobile responsiveness. Since more and more people access websites from mobile devices, it's essential to use a team that can adapt to mobile screens without slowing down. AMP ready. The accelerated mobile pages or AMP technology lets websites load faster on mobile devices. Using an AMP ready theme can significantly improve the speed of your mobile site. To check if a theme is well optimized, try its demo website before installing it. You can test its speed using tools like PageSpeed, Insights, or Pingdom. Enter the test site domain name into URL field, then choose the audience location from under the test from, and then click Start Test. Also, check the website's performance scores, for example, performance grade, page size, load time, and requests. Then, review the available actionable insights to improve the site speed. If the test shows that the site is slow, it means that the theme you're using is poorly optimized. Try and test other themes until you get the ideal page speed. If your site has a lot of large site images, it will take longer to load. To avoid this, always optimize images before uploading them to your site. Here's what you can do to do so. Make sure that the file size is 500 kilobytes or less. Compress them using an online tool like TinyPNG or image processing software like Photoshop. Use the recommended file format. For example, JPEG is the best format for photographs. PNG is recommended for graphics and drawings, while WebP offers higher resolution and image files smaller than JPEG and PNG. Enable lazy loading. This will make images on the page load only when the user reaches them. It increases speed as the website doesn't have to load all images at once. I recommend using WP Smudge plugin to optimize your images. It's a speed optimization plugin that also provides a bulk image resizer, a compression tool, and a lazy loading feature. Site security impacts site performance. Besides exposing it to potential vulnerabilities, outdated software, plugins, and themes can slow down or even break your site. However, you can enable auto updates on the WordPress dashboard. Log into the WordPress dashboard, then click Plugins and then Installed Plugins. Find the plugin that needs to be updated. Click Update Now. Hover on Appearance and then click on Themes. Then click on theme you want to update and then press update now. Before updating any plugin or theme, always check its newest changelog, as feature updates can have bugs that affect site performance. I recommend waiting a week after the release so any known issues are already fixed. For the WordPress core software, I recommend enabling auto updates only for minor upgrades. Major updates may add significant changes not suitable for your site. Doing them manually gives you enough time to review and decide whether to implement the updates. If you use Hostinger, you can enable WordPress core auto updates via the H panel. Go to your WordPress dashboard, 
then under Core, find WordPress Updates and click Change. On the new window, choose the Auto Update option you prefer. In this example, choose the default Only Update Minor Versions, and then click Save. Some plugins use a lot of resources which impacts your site performance. If you have plugins that you no longer use, remember to delete them from WordPress completely. Only deactivating it is not enough as it will still be attached to your site. Removing a plugin is very simple. From the dashboard, go to Plugins, then select the plugins you want to remove and click Deactivate, and then click Remove. Also, check the plugin's official documentation to find its uninstallation guide. That's because inactive plugins may leave database queries and WordPress configuration behind. To remove them completely, you will have to take some extra steps, which might differ for each plugin. Remember that the fewer plugins you have, the lighter and faster your WordPress site will be. Make sure only to install plugins that are necessary for the website. Also, spend some time researching, as a low-quality plugin can also lead to a poor site performance. Minifying CSS, HTML, and JavaScript files means removing unnecessary characters like line breaks and comments from the code. While those characters help other developers to better understand the code, they also slow down the site. By minifying these files, you will speed up the data process between servers and browsers. It's one of the easiest and most effective ways to optimize website performance, as it can shrink the file size from around 40 to 60 percent. To do this, you can use an online tool like Minifier, install a plugin like Fast Velocity Minify, or use a caching plugin like Lightspeed. PHP is a scripting language that lets developers create dynamic and interactive websites. A WordPress is one of the platforms that uses this language. Almost half of all WordPress users are still using a version of PHP that WordPress no longer supports. Updating PHP will improve your site's performance and ensure its overall security. However, before updating the PHP version, check if your website's code is compatible with the latest PHP version. I recommend upgrading it in a staging environment first to minimize potential risks. Most WordPress hosting providers allow their users to change PHP version from the hosting control panel. To do this via HPanel, all you have to do is follow these steps. Log into HPanel, then click Advanced, and then PHP Configuration. On the PHP version tab, select the latest version and then click Update. As your website grows, your WordPress database might accumulate lots of unnecessary information, such as deleted comments and old plugin settings, and that can also reduce the site speed. Before you proceed, make sure you have a backup of your database. This is because database optimization is the riskiest method for optimizing your site speed, and if you don't do it properly, you may accidentally break the website. There are two ways to optimize your WordPress database. First, by using database management system phpMyAdmin. Second, by using a WordPress database plugin. I will show you how to do both. Most hosting accounts include phpMyAdmin. If you use Hostinger, open each panel, then click on databases and then phpMyAdmin. Then on the list of current databases, click the database name you want to optimize and then click Enter phpMyAdmin. Once redirected to phpMyAdmin, choose the database name from the navigation sidebar. Then click the Structure tab and scroll down to the bottom of the table. Then select Check All. Now choose Optimize Table from the drop-down menu. And once finished, a message will appear your SQL query has been executed successfully. For the next method, we'll use a WordPress database plugin like WPDB Manager. Install and activate WPDB Manager from the WordPress dashboard. Go to Database and then optimize DB. Choose Yes to select the database tables you want to optimize and select Optimize. Great! 
now you know 11 different methods to speed up your WordPress website. After implementing them, you should have a much better site speed so more people can discover and enjoy your content. If you struggle with any of these methods, let us know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.